trained to harass, maim, the perpetrators of gang stalking. Who would want this job? A perpetrator is anyone who has been trained to harass, maim, mob, or kill a targeted individual, either by direct or covert means, including electronical, biological, or accidental means as well. Career perps make a good living dealing in misery to hapless individuals. Perps usually don't know the victim personally, but they are supplied enough information from their handlers and local and sometimes even federal agencies to allow for a well-oiled campaign of gang stalking and harassment towards the targeted individual. How can a perp be identified? Mostly by their actions. If perps are doing their job, they will reveal themselves. They do this a number of ways. Number one. Irrational hatred. Hatred of the target for no apparent or explainable reason. When pressed as to why they hate the target, they usually give a really irrational or illogical reason. Like, I don't like your luggage or something like that. <sighs> they obviously are not going to tell the target the real reason because this person is quite literally being paid to hate the target. It is, it is that particular perp's job to hate the target. That is how they get their said compensation. This is often inco inconsequential, uh, unless the perp has mutual friends with the target. The ultimate goal is to destroy the target's relationships and isolate the target from all friends, lovers, and family members. This is often successful in most cases because it is carried out slowly and very methodically. And I might add that they do a uh, year of intel on you before they uh, do this, so they know exactly who to approach, what to say, when they go overt on you when they switch from a covert to an overt approach on you. So they know exactly what buttons to push. I've talked about this. Perps pretend to be going about their business and doing ordinary things. However, careful uh, observation of said perps will reveal a different agenda. Perps follow the target into places of business and spend most of their time crowding the target's personal space. Often they don't even buy anything or transact anything at that said business. Perps follow the target out the door as they leave. Observation sometimes reveal, reveals they circle the block and come back into the establishment because that establishment is their territory to surveil for that day. So they have different territories. And they're quite literally just passing the baton as you go about your day as a targeted individual. They're just passing the baton to each other. Each person has a mapped out area. And you're one of many uh, targets in the harassment queue. You're one of many. You're not the only one. A loner perp has been in a vile business for so long, the less human they become. This is especially true of those who have made this their lifelong career. Career perps are required to do evil things to targets every day. And without feeling remorse, more importantly, <clears throat> this is a job requirement. This inevitably results in a cold, void, emotionless exterior lacking in compassion with no empathy for any human beings. The second way they show themselves is by hand signals. Perps use hand signals to communicate with each other, their handlers, and to point out where the target is and what they are doing. They often will stroke their chin or go like this, which means heads up, the target is in view, he's approaching. Uh, thirdly, Perps are always unnecessarily rude to targets. Perps will consistently display rude behavior directed towards targets, often during a street theater scenario. And what is street theater? It's a... Uh, they're basically scripted scenarios that the United States government sits down and collaborates with one another, you know, to see how they're going to get at you and invoke a response from you. So they might set up some elaborate scenario in a business, out in public, on the road, etc. Um, and their job is to, you know, be involved in that and just basically throw unnecessary rudeness towards you to get an uh, emotional response from you is what they want. <clears throat> this is a daily occurrence. Any restaurant, retail establishment, post office, doctor's office, or other place has its own corral of assigned perps to do the dirty work. Perps will crowd in line at cash registers and usually have a credit or debit card that doesn't work, a price that needs to be checked, or they engage the cashier in endless conversation. The result of this is a lot, a lot of wasted time intended to annoy the targeted individual. Who are the perpetrators? 
The people that apply for the job are often people that can't find a job elsewhere. They just don't have what it takes to succeed on their own. Perps don't have to be smart. Anyone can be a perp and can make easy money harassing others. They need to follow orders and never admit the truth, though. Those are requirements. This type of perp does not usually advance, but will continue to have steady employment for as long as the public, not victims of gang stalking, consider this harassment nothing but paranoid delusions reported by a few nut jobs with tinfoil hats. Perps who are recruited for the job sell their soul when they join this vast network of evil. Rich people, homeless people, middle class, and vagabonds alike are all recruited. Addicts, mentally disabled, alcoholics, young, old, geniuses, morons, people of any profession or religious faith are recruited. Uh, anyone desiring a place in this dark madness may have one. The most pathetic and disappointing of all, however, are the pretend Christians who participate. There are quite a few of them uh, that join in the conspiracy, who have been also tricked into joining. I have experienced harassment in churches. These Christians attend more perp meetings than church services, however. These frauds go about their days serving the dark side instead of doing what God would want them to do, which is peace and kindness to everybody on earth. Convinced they are gods, chosen, and have been given authority to harass and do horrible things to targets and ultimately decide if they will live or die. These perps mean well, I suppose, but will continue to do evil until they truly find God. The perpetrators of gang stalking. 